Welcome everyone to the roundup of all the action at Masters Tour Silvermoon. Fresh off the heels of a balance patch, the meta was going to be tough to predict this MT. Demon Hunter and Warlock both had taken big hits, but it looked like they would still be of a high enough power level to be very popular brings. While D6 Warlock is already infamous for its power level and speed of combo, it was Handlock that took center stage this weekend with over 50% of players bringing it. Only being truly weak to said D6 Warlock, it fit perfectly into a ban Warlock strategy and was a cornerstone of both aggro and anti-aggro lineups alike. A much more contentious bring was the Brute Demon Hunter. It had risen to popularity as little more than a meme deck, but after x adopted it for his legendary Rank 1 streams, it quickly garnered a lot of respect. An all-or-nothing deck that relies on playing multiple huge taunts as quickly as possible, it's easy to see why the high power ceiling of the deck seduced many of our competitors. Can you believe that idiot talking about how Blyze is winning a lot with Brute Demon Hunter? <laughs> Glad I'm not that guy, because in our first round of Swiss, Bly simply could not win with his signature deck. Ultimately falling to our world champ glory, it wasn't a good start to the tournament for one of the most hyped players of the weekend. Another player that everyone on the casting desk was excited for was Orange, finally breaking the round one curse, and as soon as we saw him on stream, it was clear why. Playing an absolutely lights out series versus Bank Yugi, his pet deck of hybrid Garot Rogue was a real winner and put him in good stead to make it through to the top 16. No stranger to doing well in Masters Tours, Letter was having yet another great run with his very unique lineup of three aggro decks and Control Warrior? Well, it's worked out well for him until now, but he may have met his match in MC Tech. After his Control Warrior was banned away, he was left with three aggro decks versus a complete anti-aggro lineup, and his dreams of a repeat Masters Tour victory were put to bed. And in the final round of the Swiss, it looked as though we may finally get a good showing from the Americas region, as Digo from Brazil, in only his second Masters Tour, finishes 7-1 after dominating Django in a 3-0 sweep. Well, it turns out Gia wasn't the only person from APAC that was missed this weekend, as heading into Day 3, there was not a single APAC player in the top 16. Uh, we'll get him next time, right? Well, either way, with every class represented at least once, it looks to be a very diverse top 16, and a stacked one too. AROC hoping to quickly re-qualify to GM, some of the best players China has ever seen in Xiao Ti and Li. Old Orange back? Well, I might be getting ahead of myself. Despite putting on one heck of a show and winning the first game of the series, Orange loses with his quest shaman for the first time this tournament, and his run comes to an end at the hand of SN Brox. The rest of the top 16 matches had similarly big implications. With Frozen, Orange and Xiao Ti losing, most of the big names were out of the tournament, and Digo was now the final hope for the Americas to reclaim their glory in Masters Tours. In the first quarterfinal match, it was AROC's Weapon Rogue that looked to be his undoing. Although maybe no Weapon Rogue would be a more appropriate moniker, as his draws were some of the worst I've ever seen. He turned it around, however, by reverse sweeping CX's Mage to become our first semi-finalist. It looked as if our second quarterfinal would be yet another reverse sweep, as Zhu Chan Yu started off at 2-0 before losing twice with his Quest Shaman to lead us to Game 5 but with a very clever Kael'thas lethal, he clutched the win. Walder was unfortunately unable to play his match, and so Lee got a free pass to the semi-final, but it was decidedly less easy for judgment. It looked as though our newcomer from the UK would be unable to get a win with his mage versus Digo's aggro lineup, but in yet another nail-biting Game 5, he took the dub and dashed America's hopes of crowning a champion. This left us with a guaranteed Europe vs China finals, a fitting end for the two most dominant regions in Masters Tour history. Another series, another Game 5. This time the problem deck for both Li and Zhu Chan Yu was their Quest Shaman. With both players bringing heavy combo lineups, Li going so far as to bring pure OTK Demon Hunter, the anti-aggro capabilities of Quest Shaman were ill-utilized. 
but in the Game 5 Shaman Mirror, Ju Chan Yu's turbo quest completion propelled him to the Grand Finals. A-Rock must have nerves of steel to be able to make it through this tournament. He gets off to yet another great start, winning with both his Quest Mage and Handlock easily. His Face Hunter was where things started to unravel. Narrowly losing to the Quest Shaman and Handlock, he's thankfully left with a good matchup in Quest Mage. But Judgment looks to have stabilized with Varden played and Lethal looming. But a questionable attempt at Lethal leaves A-Rock with a slim shot at Lethal, a shot he isn't throwing away. And here it is, the Grand Finals. Zhou Chan Yu, the ladder grinder, hoping to make his way into the Chinese Team League, versus A-Rock, the aggro king who had a taste of greatness in Grand Masters before he lost it all, trying to reclaim his rightful spot. It looked like we might be in for a quick finals to round out a very long day as Zhou Chan Yu took two early victories, leaving him once again with just his quest charm and to win. A-Rock wins his two easy matchups first, with Handlock and Quest Mage easily doing their job. But he left the worst for last in Face Hunter. A decidedly poor matchup versus all the board control and lifesteal that Quest Charmin has available. But it ends up as close as it possibly can with a misplay from Zhou Chan Yu leaving him completely overloaded. And A-Rock getting one damage off lethal before Zhou Chan Yu hit exact lethal on the following turn. A nail biter to be sure. And one that leaves Zhou Chan Yu as your Masters Tour Silver Moon champion. A huge congratulations to Zhou Chan Yu and a well done to all of our competitors this weekend. If you'd like to compete in a Masters Tour yourself, you can go to playhearthstone.com forward slash esports for all the information you need. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.